the president of Wayne State University, Dr. M. Roy Wilson, who on Friday announced the establishment of the National De-Escalation Training Center headquarters on the campus at Wayne State University. Doctor, what a good idea. Good morning to you. Good morning, Paul W. You you came up with that so quickly. Was this something in the works before all of this happened? Yes, it, it actually was. Um, you know, I, I know that it was reported by the, the news as a reaction to uh, George Floyd's uh, uh, response. Uh, and certainly it's it's an opportune time to really uh, um, uh, focus on it. But we've been working on this for about six months. It's uh, it, it really is a, um, a, a model to facilitate innovation, research, and development of best practices in law enforcement uh, de-escalation training. And Chief Holt has been um, a very integral part of this. And as I mentioned, we've been working on this for about six months or so. The uh, National De-Escalation Training Center has already uh, filed for incorporation as a nonprofit entity. The uh, our police force has already uh, had a, a several sessions um, uh, in the training, uh, and then uh, COVID-19 hit in, in March, and we've kind of put everything on hold until um, you know this happened, and and we're we are uh, focusing on it again now. <clears throat> I just say, uh, Dr. Wilson, for those that don't know, uh, Police Chief Tony Holt is Wayne State University's police chief. Obviously, uh, the police department uh, doing this thing, doing uh, doing this kind of training, and starting right off the bat, uh, saying that these de-escalation efforts will be individualized uh, because not every it's not one size fits all in all these different situations right this is not just the the typical de-escalation which a lot of places have been uh, have been doing Uh, you know we're hoping that this will be a national model we're going to be setting up regional training centers and other uh, states but we'll be the uh, headquartered here and the ndtc the national de-escalation training center um, is different in a lot of different ways. One is that it's the first to include persona- personality modeling uh, using what's called the DISC system uh, to de-escalate. Um, uh, <clears throat> secondly, as I've already mentioned, it's uh, it's going to be a nonprofit uh, entity, and being nonprofit, uh, not having a profit motive, you know, better serve the interests of the public sector and. We'll be able to access grant funding to defray uh, training costs, and uh, that would otherwise have to be borne be borne by police uh, departments. And so, uh, we think uh, foundations would be very interested in this. And th- and then finally, it goes well beyond the traditional uh, what's called the DISC model. Um, uh, a friend of mine uh, has uh, developed with the uh, Office of the Director of National Intelligence and the Defense uh, Intelligence Agency a um, um, a version of this that goes way beyond the uh, the, the traditional uh, personality type and it's called disc esoterica uh, it's, disc has a certain number of uh, categories in terms of personality types and and disc esoterica has 26 subtypes uh, underneath uh, the the basic personality types that disc has and so uh, police are, are uh, trained to identify, sometimes within seconds, uh, what kind of personality uh, the, the person has that, uh, that they're, they've approached, and they can adjust uh, to most effectively interact uh, with that subject. While I have you here, Doctor, uh, and before I let you go, Dr. Uh, M. Roy Wilson, President of Wayne State University, students have been feeling anxiety and and even downright despair just from how their school has been disrupted during COVID-19. Uh, kids that are supposed to graduate didn't get to go through a graduation ceremony the, the way they thought they always would, and any number of other things. Add to that now for the African-American students who, who are also feeling uh, despair and depression. Uh, I, while I have you here, Please talk to those students and all students in general from your learned background on trying to help them not to despair. Yeah. 
you know, I, you, you mentioned the uh, the letter that I wrote on, on Friday, Paul W., and, and I try not to do presidential memos that frequently because I, I really wanted to count when I do uh, do it. And, and this was one of those uh, times when I felt that I, I just had to uh, speak out and, and so sent the campus message to the entire uh, campus community um, in, in which I did talk about that specifically. I'm getting ready. As soon as I get off the um, line with you, Paul W., I'm going to be doing a video. Uh, I do a weekly video that goes out on YouTube and throughout a lot of different social media about different things related to the university, and I'm going to be focusing on exactly that point. I, I think it is just so important that, first of all, that people have an opportunity to express themselves and, and, and vent in a, in a um, nonviolent way. And we are going to be offering students that opportunity through a, um, a forum uh, where, uh, unfortunately, it will have to be through Zoom, but uh, a, a forum where uh, people can express themselves and, and, and share their thoughts with, with others, which I think is one of the first steps that uh, to be helpful. Uh, we've done this several times before in uh, tragic situations like this. It's, uh, it's become a little bit too frequent, Paul. Uh, I just mm -hmm. I just think that we're at a uh, inflection point now in our country. We just can't continue to um, have things like this happen and then have a, uh, a forum where people can express themselves and say that that's fine. Uh, I, I think we've got to have some systemic changes. and I. And one of the ways to do that, I think, is to make sure that police all over the country uh, know how to de-escalate so that uh, these kind of things don't happen. Well put. We look forward to learning more about the new National De-Escalation Training Center headquarters right there on the Wayne State University campus. I salute uh, Wayne State University Police Chief Tony Holt, who you've saluted, and, of course, I salute you, and I think you have continued to show why you are the president of Wayne State University, uh, Dr. M. Roy Wilson. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, Paul W. Always good to be with you. Always nice talking with you.